Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat and we are back in the world of Borderlands 2 in the Commander Dil uh, Commander Lilith DLC. Alright, before I take on uh, or move on in the story here, which if I want to I need to go that way to do the story. Let's see what we got here. This is where I took out Cassius, the Professor, Ca Professor Cassius. But I wanted to show you guys uh, some stuff I did off camera yesterday. I farmed both the uh, Uranus bot and the Cassius boss. And I got some legendaries for it. Alright, I got myself a new Lyuda. Now, this came from uh, Cassius, I do believe. And I got myself uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. I got the uh, Deliverance, which is not a great shotgun. Not a big fan of this shotgun. I got the pertinent uh, pyrophobia rocket launcher I got a flacker uh, this is my old Eliuda you just see is a 2399 compared to 4285 oh yeah it does definitely does some damage I got two skull mashers these both came from Cassius some of these came from uh, the Uranus bot <laughs> I got myself another Slaga. One of these came from Cassius. The other one came from the uh, the Uranus bot. And I think that's it. Alright, and I did get two Legendary Class mods. Not for my character, of course. I got a, uh, a Psycho Class mod. And I got, a, uh, of course, the uh, Siren Class mod. I got a couple of skins, which I'm going to use right now. They're both vehicle skins. I got myself an anti-faction. I got two of these, but one of them was weaker, so I sold it. So I had a total of two of these. That's a rainbow rarity. I got myself another rolling thunder. And I got myself a longbow quasar, which I've never had a quasar before. And a homing bouncing bonnie. So, yep, yeah, I think... No, and I got myself a bonus package. This I think I think the bonus package comes from the in the normal storyline, which is Boom Boom. They have a chance of dropping this grenade, which is a long time ago. I have a newer one, and I got myself the cradle to the grave. Shield is disposed of upon depletion with explosive results. So it basically, it's like a grenade after the uh, uh, capacity wears down to zero. The the shield will fly off of you and blow up. So. But, I'm going to show you guys my run before we move on with the storyline. And I can make it make it back to Cassius without even attacking anything on the way. And I did it really fast too. I'll go all the way back to the top here. You go back to Mount Scarab Research Center. And I'm going to do this run and I might do the uh, other run with uh, Uranus Spot. Alright, so I always keep just this weapon out so I can kill one enemy on the way. Because the one enemy has a chance of dropping some blue rarity equipment. But this is my run. I'll stop here. Refill on ammo. What not. And sell the junk I have down here. Starting with this one. No, not my... Oh, I just sold that. I didn't want to sell that. There we go. Alright, and then I just, I run. I do my uh, run right back to Cassius. And I'll see, I'll, I'll show you guys how fast I can get there. It's a little loud in my ears, but oh well. So I turn to the, the left here. Jump up. Jump across. This is the easiest way to get across here. Instead of down on the ground floor, jump over that guy. Straight into the hole. Straight out the door. Turn to your right, go straight through here. And this is the enemy I was talking about, why I have this out, right there. He'll drop you some iridium, and it's a blue rarity sometimes. Reload on the way through. You can turn to your right here, and you'll have another chest. It's not a good chest, but it's good to check it here and there. Run through. Turn to your left here. 
And then go over here, stay on your right. Make it through this hole right here. You can go check that chest too if you want, but be careful of the saw blades. And since I didn't kill anything in that room, nothing spawns right here. There's usually a bunch of soldiers here. Turn to your left. You can stop off at this uh, shops if you need to. There's another chest that's not that great, but it's good to check. Nothing. Run up the stairs. Jump off right here. There's another big chest here, a doll, a big red doll locker. What? Careful of the cloud. And uh, I'll take that sniper rifle. That's it. Everything else can stay. The sniper rifle. If it, I was like trying to collect stuff that was six thousand and above, but sniper rifle is close enough. And here's Cassius right here. You drop down this hole. I run through. I'll throw my uh, sentry. If you have magic missile, that'll make them weaker. Now notice he has these purple uh, flowers or something on him. Those little purple things. Shoot those. That's his weak spot. There he goes, he's dead. He throws stuff literally everywhere. There's a legendary right there. There you go. It takes it just you don't even have to kill anything except that one chest if you want to. I kill him because he has a chance of dropping a blue rarity weapon or equipment. So you don't know what you're gonna get, so I make sure to take him out. But other than that, that's how fast it takes me to get to Cassius over and over again. And that's what I did yesterday. I farmed him for a while and then I went to a Uranus spot. And farmed him for a while. See what legendaries I got. I got a pitchfork, a surgical pitchfork, and a B. Not a B shield, but the the B SMG. So let's go ahead and pick them up. I don't know if I actually had. No, I don't have a B on me. The B I T C H uh, SMG. But I do have this new one, level 38. <clears throat> and then we got a, ourselves a surgical pitchfork. Burst fire while zoomed, which is not my favorite. But it takes me just a few moments just to get over here. He's, uh, he's actually not that bad of a boss to fight because he has his loot pool. It's quite extensive when it comes to legendaries and... What not? You can get legendary class mods, which I want to farm him until I get one, because I want one with my character. I do have a purple class mod, which is critical damage weapon accuracy, but I would like to have a legendary version. And then I'm going to show you guys my run I do with uh, the uh, Uranus bot. So I go back here to the world travel. You can go, then you go to Helios Fallen. There's a couple of trouble spots I have here, but they're still a pretty fast run. There's this, uh, where the elevator is, is one's trouble spot, and the, uh, I think that's pretty much it, then. Go ahead and fill up everything. Sell this. My goodness, look at all these. To sell all my junk I've been building up my inventory is just getting fuller and fuller all right here's the run you don't have to kill that much you just try to dodge you will get shot a few times here and there as you do your run but if you watch where the enemies are you can go the opposite of them wow wow straight up here you could run straight off there, but I'd rather go all the way over here because there's a yellow thing right there. And it'll block some of the shots from you. Yeah, you'll get hit a few times, but if you're fast enough and make sure you go the same uh, route I'm taking right now, it's not going to take that long. Or you won't get knocked out, not unless you stop. There's a few snipers. 
One. There's another sniper on each one of these platforms. There's one over there. If I can see him. Right there. Got him. And then, what I do is I take this stairs, go on the left side, or right side of that box, hit this green switch, run down. There's a chest over here if you want it, but it's not that going to be that great. Take out a couple of these robots. Check the chest. Junk. Now, by the time I get back around over here, the elevator's almost down. And then, what I do is I just run straight up. Hit the switch, you're going up. This is one of the longest parts of this whole one. This one makes the uh, farming uranium spots a little bit slow. But that back there was one of my most troubled spots in the entire run. Is trying to take out the snipers and uh, the soldiers and a couple of robots. But the rest of this run is easy, you can just run right through. Go down here, straight to your left, outside that door. You'll get hit a couple of times through here. There's a couple of chests over there if you want them. They're not that good though, but they are there. Run through here. Yeah, that turret back there that spawns is trying to shoot me. Jump over this. Thing. There's a couple of chests here if you want to check them. See what you get. This chest has a better chance of giving you good loot. But nothing there that I care for. And as soon as you go up here, you are basically at the arena spot arena. You just got to climb the stairs a little bit. And if you did use some ammo on the way, there's your ammo stop. But you go take your left, go up through this door. And you just run through, and there you there's the the boss fight right up here. So it doesn't take that long. You just got a couple of trouble spots, potentially. I throw my turret, and now I shoot him. Boom! Dead. Take out his lackeys. The turret will help out, help out if you're not playing as Axton. Then you can use all your other specials. I'm not sure about the siren though, you just have to be careful. Umbridge. Now let's see what we got from Urena Spot. That's so funny to say. Yes, I'm a child at heart. Butt jokes, am I right? Oh, he's still standing. Oh, I got a rainbow weapon, or a rainbow something. Up, oh, let's see, electric chair. This is new, I've never seen this one before. I just kept getting that fire one over and over again. All right. <coughs> Excuse the cough. Awesome. 6,000 bucks, 7,000 bucks. But this guy has a chance to drop legendaries as well. Doesn't look like I got any legendaries on this run <clears throat> I don't know what legendaries he can drop what's his loot pool contains but I know it's pretty extensive what I've heard you can get all kinds of legendaries from him so it's a good uh, boss to farm and as you see I took him out within seconds he wasn't it wasn't even that hard he goes down quick and then if you after you finish farming him there's a few chests you can go right here Check these out. Burst fire wild zoom. There's two chests here. And then this red one. Yeah, let's see what we got. We got a 7,000. It's a good way to make a little bit of money. Alright, there you go. That's my runs. <clears throat> Now I'll go back to, let's say here, sell the junk you picked up, anything that you don't want. The electric chair, huh. 
wonder if this is more like a singularity or something. I'm not sure. No Alright. Now I guess we're on our way to go fight the, the main boss of this storyline. Maybe. There is a fast travel station right down here. The yellow one. Where you uh, go in with uh, Lilith and... And, uh, what's her name? Tiny Tina. How could I forget Tiny Tina? And there you go. Now we go back to Mount Scarab Research Center, and I can do the run again to see if, uh, old Professor Cassius comes back. But I doubt it. But you see, it takes me only a few seconds to take make this run anyways. It doesn't take long. A minute. All right, you run up here. There's the shops. As soon as you go up here, turn to your immediate left. All right, nope, never mind. Here is immediate left. Up this walkway. Ah, oh, that guy just was really accurate. Go down there. Yeah, there you go. Run away, man. Run away. And straight over this dude. Not unless he does something like that. Destroy my shields with literally in one hit. <clears throat> oh, the chest thing didn't come back. Oh well. There's that chest. There's that chest. If you don't take out anything in that last previous room, nothing spawns in this area. Which those soldier guys are kind of annoying, so it's probably your best bet to not kill those other dudes. Because it just spawns those soldier guys later on. Chest down there. You just jump off there. Just be careful not to jump all the way off. Hey, Case just came back. Shoot the, the purple spots. Yeah, he's not too tough. <laughs> hey, I got some more legendaries. What did I get? Uh, Hornet. Okay, Hornet. And we got ourselves another anti-faction, which I've seen a lot more than all the rest. And a Pitchfork again. But this is corrosive damage instead of electric. Yep, there you go. Only just a few seconds on each one. The... Uranus spot, of course, being a little bit tougher to get to the uh, the end where the boss is. You got a little bit more to fight on the way. But other than that, yeah, it doesn't take long. Pick a path to pick out your favorite weapons and just keep running them over and over again. Like this one right here. After you get here and uh, you want to farm Cassius, you go over here. And you can just do what I just did. You don't even have to exit your game, not unless you want to farm each chest over and over again throughout the every, uh, the whole run. You can uh, save and exit your game and come back, hit this, and then go back to here. And that's your. Uh, then you can farm all the chests. If you don't want to farm all the chests throughout the run, then just hit this, go back to Mount Scarab, and boom, they'll respawn. All right. There we go. That's it. Easy as that. But I just wanted to show. I'm on my way. Enjoy your last breaths, Raiders. I can feel the roots of paradise taking hold. Tracking you, VH. Looks like you're in the bowels of Sanctuary. Get ready for a right powerful stink. Better hurry. Sanctuary spewing spores like a toddler on a bender. Ain't condoning it, but I seen it. 
Nice. I'm glad Scooter's not around to see sanctuary like this. If that overblown gas man had to bind up her engine, so help me, I'm gonna smother him to death under a single touch. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my run I was doing yesterday. The easiest way I could do my run to farm those bosses. Man, I do not like these soldier guys. Pick up all the ammos, of course. Is there something up there? Yeah, there's a chest right there. Not a good one, but there is a chest up there. Let's see what's in this junky chest. Nothing. Complete junk. Apparently the storyline shows how Scooter dies, or tells you how he dies, maybe? So I know he's supposed to be gone in the uh, third game. Oh. The infinite ten tentacles. Is there any more? Why is there so many tentacles up there? They just keep coming. Wow, accuracy, bro. Is there something throwing something at me over there? Is there something hidden down there? Oh, there's a chest down here. Oh, nothing great, but hey, might be worth the check. I'm not a big fan of those lockers. They're not usually the best. Those and the green ones that say doll on the side of them, they're not usually that great. Or the stand-up Hyperion ones that opens all differently and weird. Like, this is the green ones. Eh, that's worth selling. <clears throat> Anything down there? Oh. Class mods, nothing I care for. Uh, I might uh, farm Cassius off camera and see if I can get myself a legendary class mod. I think that would be awesome. That was another legendary I did get from Cassius. I do believe it was Cassius was the uh, another Hellfire, which I'm actually using right now because the one that I got yesterday was a little bit better than the one I got the day before, or when I bought 
uh, Uranus spot. Because he did drop a hellfire. I don't have time to mass produce the antidote. If you do not stop Hector from releasing the gas, he will cause a planetary mass extinction. I figured we had at minimum six or seven years before something like that. Six or seven years. Will be will we be able to take out the boss? And what's his mechanic? Oh, it seems like every boss in this game has a mechanic. Like a way to take him out. There's a lot of these dudes here. Well, that's it. That jump right there is not worth going. There's nothing there. Except de death and more death. Uh, what? Those guys like to crawl out of every hole, don't they? They're just, just popping out left and right. Anything down here? Ah, another chest down here. It's a green doll locker, but not great. Not even worth it, in my opinion. All chests should be the big red chests. Or something that has a better chance of a drop chance. A better loot. I don't even know what uh if the the final boss drops anything. Hey, is this a uh, market? Yeah, it is. I'm inside Marcus's munitions behind his shop in Sanctuary. Makes me wonder. Do you, if you go back or fast travel to Sanctuary from Sanctuary from the uh, DLC to the uh, normal game. It just, everything goes back to normal all of a sudden. Where'd all the chests go? Except you take out Angel, or do the Angel part, and the bunker. There's usually chests in this room, but there's nothing. Brain freaks in my armory? That's it! I'm not selling soldiers any more weapons. That target practice is still there. So you've been selling these guys your weapons, huh? Ah, he's got a green doll locker in here. Nothing that I care for. See, this is the part that's different. You actually get to go back here where you see the big vault door, but you can't never uh, go inside. Neat. Salsa junk and buy things, ammo, whatnot. Yeah, I got a pretty good amount of legendaries since I farmed yesterday, so that's pretty worth it. I would say Cassius and the uh, Rainus spot is definitely worth it. Their loot pools are quite extensive on both of them. I don't even know what else you can get. So it's worth just farming them for a few hours each. Hey, this gate's usually open. Right here is the uh, bolt symbol. Oh boy, here we go! Medic needs a medic. I do not like these soldier dudes, I really don't. Shot ever. 
And there goes my life. Those guys always drop a grenade that just destroys you instantly. And it's just fire damage, but it always gets you every time. Hey, that guy died. Was it not my kill? Guess not. Nice camera work there. Ah, I still got the snowman head. Wow, I'm already dead already. That grenade sucks. Now, do not care for these soldier guys at all. Look how fast they fire those sniper rifles, man. It's ex extreme. get one of these uh, one-armed bandits yum this is usually the no normal way out I can dig the vine decor but the last thing my bar needs is a bunch of mindless freaks who can't keep their tentacles to themselves unless they're willing to pay for it The Golden Lager, mission item, a liquid, uh, liquid the cure for the... brought this war-torn planet a shred of peace. Pandora's not perfect, but it deserves better. Mission item? Whoa. Hey, this antidote stuff is really working. I think I can walk again. My stocks feel great. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. And after the boat hunter takes sanctuary, we're leaving Pandora. <laughs> Kids' imaginations. Anything could be anything. Welcome to my humble shop. So I'm drunk, apparently, by that liquor I found at Moxie's. Does it help me with the fight? Infected Hector, the bad guy. This is the best weapon to use. There we go. That's a little bit more damage. Ow. Freaking...
Good way to go there, Lilith. Help me out. I'm trying to keep my health going here. Can't even keep my shields up. Ow. I don't think my shields will ever go back up. Not at this rate. Constantly getting hit. I'm stuck. Wow, that was a lot of junk. You did it. Now grab the vault key. Really? Gonna give me the same old skins? Wow, Hector's, uh. Oh, there's something here. Why his loot sucked. Yeah, his loot really sucked compared to the other bosses. The other bosses are definitely a lot more worth it. But you never know though, he might actually have a better loot pool, just got unlucky this time. That could be the, the big deal here. Hey, a new uh, Predator one. Or a new skin. Mechromancer. Nice. Now you get to actually go inside here. I'll take this Whoa. ship higher, and my paradise gas will spread all over the land. This is Crazy Earl's room. First time you get to actually see you. You've lost. This ship is mine. The key is mine. Pandora is mine. Sorry about this, killer. It's the only way. Trust me. You finally stood your ground, Firehawk. But it's too late. Vault hunters, so blind. I have seen the true purpose of the map. It leads to power you can't possibly imagine. What the hell? Sanctuary is part of me now. The vault map is part of me. You can't destroy me without losing them both. Your dream dies with me. What? What do you think you're doing? Making the call. No! Lilith! She's 
alive! Leah, are you okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's gone. Lila! That was awesome! Yeah! <laughs> Is the freaky tree man dead? Hey, Roland would have done the same thing. Worth it! Holy crap, I'm so jealous. I wanted to blow up that ship forever! I'm cool, I'm cool. I calculated that there was an 86.4% chance that Sanctuary would have exploded as soon as it reached escape velocity. Perhaps I should have shared that with you sooner? Sanctuary, the map, everything's gone. Hey, you made the call. We're all still here, nothing else matters. Yeah, I guess you're right. So, uh, what now? Up there, Hector showed me the map. I saw the vaults, connected somehow, part of something bigger. I don't know what it means. Look, we may have lost the map, but we never needed it before. We have to find the vaults before they fall into the wrong hands. We have got to keep searching. And that means leaving Pandora. But I can't go with you. Not yet. Someone has to rebuild the Raiders. We need new blood. New badasses if we're gonna be ready for the next fight. Find the vaults. No matter how far it takes you, no matter what happens, you will always be Crimson Raiders! Beach back there, Lil. Really tugged at the old heartstrings. But why is it that you're really staying here? That vault map's still out there, Ellie. And when I find it, then I can leave Pandora. I'm a halter to that string, Bang. Yeah. We just beat that DLC, but we still got a bunch of uh, side quests to do in here. And then after that, I'm done with Borderlands 2 for now. And then I'll be heading on to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Which I know a lot less about that game than I do 1 and 2. I did beat it a couple of times, but it was only a couple of times, like two times in my entire time of ever owning the pre-sequel. I've only beaten it twice, so... Yay. So that game's gonna be like a whole new game. In the next episodes of this uh, Borderlands 2, I'll be finishing up the DLCs for this, or the um, side missions in this DLC. And then after that, we'll be moving on for sure. We're very close, we've got less than a month away before we get the old, uh, actually, about a month now before the uh, third game gets released and I did I didn't buy a pre-ordered on the Epic Game Store I did uh, pre-ordered on PS4 so I have it on there so I will be able to upload it as long as Gearbox is okay with that I hope they're okay with that Not bad DLC, still a bit short, but not bad. Assault on Dragon Keep and I'll say uh, Scarlet and her Pirate's Booty DLC is the longest DLCs. Especially the uh, Dragon Keep DLC. Now that's the longest of them all, as the storyline goes.
I hope this music is not copyrighted. Probably is. It doesn't sound like a copyright song, but you know, you never know. Especially nowadays. Everything's copyrighted nowadays. My fart is somebody owns it already before even I've I farted fully, you know. There's so many people that work on these games. It's like these credits goes on for a while. But you guys know I always watch the credits at the end of everything. Especially if I'm recording it. Normally I wouldn't, but when I'm recording it. To show thanks, I guess. Of all the people that worked on these games.
These uh, credits are really long, aren't they? That can of soda. It makes a return. <laughs> Okay, there's the vault key. He survived. Alright, well, there you guys go. And when we come back, we'll do the quests. There's a bunch of them that was left behind. And definitely we'll be getting all them done. Or most of them. Alright, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It was a little bit of a longer episode only because of all the credits and everything. The final boss wasn't too difficult, and at the same time. He didn't really drop anything either. Maybe he has a better loot pool or something. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or you only get to fight him once. I'm not 100% sure about that either. <clears throat> Alright guys, well. Uh, if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join on up. Let's build the Meerkat Nation. You know, let's build this nation to be big and strong, of course. And it needs you guys to do so. And, um... If you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show your support. That like button means a lot to me, guys, because every time you guys hit that like button on all these videos, YouTube sees that, and then they will recommend my content to new people, more people, so it doesn't, like, disappear within the crowds of videos, you know, because there's lots of videos being uploaded every day, so I need your guys' help with that, and... Um, next to that subscribe button you will see a bell icon when you hit that bell icon then you become part of the meerkat nation notification squad and when that happens you get notifications for everything i upload so you don't miss any of these awesome adventures these papa meerkat adventures all right guys well each and every one of you have an amazing day going on your own adventures and everything else and i will see you later bye bye